We're good. Do we have sound now? <laughs> What's up guys? All right, now we got sound. I just did the coolest intro ever and there was no sound. I'm so sorry about that. I actually announced the five winners of the free cowl. Uh, free cowl, sorry guys. Hey, hey guys, let's try that again. Welcome uh, to Pure Art Central. Today guys, we are doing our live stream for the Flash uh, cowl replica and you might notice I'm short one person, guys. I am down. My partner is not here. My partner in crime. Uh, I did warn you guys in the chat. I had some bad news. And uh, Melissa is actually not here. She's in the chat, though. Don't worry. Don't panic. She's in the chat. But um, she heard that Henry Cavill was visiting Montreal. She took off downtown and now is stranded in traffic uh, and did not find Henry Cavill after all that. Um, yeah, so I actually kind of wish she'd find him for me, but yeah, so anyway, so that's the story there. Uh, sorry guys, Melissa's not feeling well today, but she is in chat, uh, so if you guys want to heckle or anything like that, feel free, she's there, Agnes as well, and who knows who else from Pure Arts is, is tuned in. So anyway guys, uh, I am by myself today, so I'm going to do a lot of looking at my screen and talking to the camera at the same time, so I apologize. I just threw off everything that Melissa's not here. Thanks, Melissa. No, I'm kidding. Uh, all right, so... Uh, she's going to be in the comments posting links and all kinds of goodies for me to support me babbling on the live stream today. So, guys, today uh, our flash cowl is out and uh, guys, this thing is really, really cool. So, this construction, the construction of this cowl, we're really excited about because it is something that we've actually never done before. So, uh, in the description, if you guys check out the description on the page, we can load up the product page on this. Um, it's got this really unique layered construction that uh, we've never done before. So usually if you look at some of our other cowls, the uh, cowls are kind of just one solid cap in resin and then it's painted, it's decorated, we do whatever it is we got to do. This one here is completely different. It's actually layered. So there's multiple layers to the construction. So you can actually see and each layer is got some kind of translucence to it. So there's actually like three different layers of cowl one on top of the other to create the overall effect. So there's all kinds of crazy textures and sometimes the textures in the mask, and we're gonna do close up, sometimes the textures are tactile so you can actually feel them and uh, with your hands. And then sometimes it's actually under a perfectly glossy section. So it just created this really cool multi-layer construction that just we've never done before. It was really difficult to do. And uh, yeah, and the cool part is it allows us to put in LEDs. So uh, there are LEDs running throughout the entire mask. Uh, and uh, if you want to check it out, Brian, is the camera on me right now? It's both. All right, it's both. All right, check this out, guys. I'm going to light this up if I can. And of course, like all of our stuff, the button is hidden. But check this out. Boom. There you go. Check that out. And we're going to turn on the... Check this out. Huh? This thing is absolutely insane. I love the way they did these LEDs. So some people are talking about, you know, obviously the price on this is a bit more expensive than the typical uh, cowls that we've done. But none of the cowls have this kind of construction. You don't get the LEDs and things like that. So this has got full LEDs going throughout. You've got the flash emblem on the front that lights up and you've got all of these different layers. I wish I could really, it's so different in person. Like even in the photos, you can't quite tell, but like the LEDs, for example, the LEDs are inside the, the cowl, so you don't actually feel, there's no LEDs like sticking out. Um, there's grooves in here, obviously, to, to follow the lines, but like, for example, here, you don't feel LEDs sticking out or anything weird like that. It's actually built into the resin that's layered up to create this effect. Uh, also, the yellow lenses, they're removable, so uh, just like, now on the prototype, they're not removable because we have a bad habit of breaking prototypes, <laughs> so they're glued in for safety's sake, uh, and you got the wings here. These are all magnetic, so those just pop off, and uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that is Barry Allen and the Flash Cow from the Flash movie. And of course, guys, as always, there is an exclusive edition. There are 150 exclusives, and it comes with the ring. Check this out. Let me see if I can get this, if I can zoom this over here. Uh, let's see, in front of that camera. So you have the ring that opens from the movie. So check that out. I'm hoping that I can't really see myself in real time, but hopefully that's working. Um, yeah, so there you go. So that's the ring. And this will actually be a metal replica ring. Now, what we have is just like a plastic a plasticky gimmicky one, but it is uh, going to be actually metal 
and it kind of fits. There you go, check that out. And then it opens up. Huh? How cool is that? So 150 of these available on the site. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, go have a look on the website. Let me see. Right. Let me get. Let me just catch up on what's going on here in the comments. Holy geez, you guys are busy. Okay, hold on a second. The paint job looks like something that's that's new. Uh, yeah, it's definitely. That's the thing. Like I said, it's not. It's not even really painted. Um, there's a painted sub layer, and then there's transparent uh, uh, poly resin layers on top of it. And some of the layers are fully transparent and glossy, and some have like a texture in them. And you'll see it in the movie. You actually see the same textures. Uh, so yeah, it's just really cool. So this is like all this is transparent poly resin, and then it's built on top of uh, red resin sections underneath. So yeah, this thing is uh, is really cool. And these are wait, let me turn them off for a second. And these are magnetic, so those connect. I'll show it on the zoom up cam here. Those connect magnetically. Um, again, these are prototype ones, um, and I, the prototypes are like I said, they're always a little different. There we go. Let me just make sure I got centered. There we go. So prototype, the prototypes are always a little bit uh, quicker made than the actual uh, final ones. And that's funny because, you know, we've said, we, we've had people ask us like, hey, can I get the prototype? And I'm always, I always tell them, you don't want the prototypes. <laughs> the prototypes have been dropped. They've been broken. They've been beaten. They've been re-glued. They, they're, they're pretty rough. Also, one of the other things here, just for the sake of being able to spin it like this on this prototype, You'll notice that there's no cords or anything. Um, it's battery powered for the prototype. The real McCoy, the real one, will be USB-C powered because obviously these LED lights just like drink the power. So you'll be draining battery super quick. So uh, it will be a USB-C connector on the back and then from there you can plug it into whatever de device you want or an external battery or whatnot. Uh, let me see. Yeah, the lights are crazy bright on this. Correct. Yeah, the lights are really, really bright. Uh, and these are the same batteries that have been in there for a while. So these are probably getting dim because it's crazy bright. There's a photo of some of the production people holding it and they're in an elevator and like the entire elevator is lit up. It was all stainless steel. It looked really, really cool. Dan strangling the flash. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, my seven year old loves the flash. Might be a bad idea if I show him this might cost me. Sounds like a brilliant idea to me. I don't know. I think you should. Highlander, you should definitely show your uh, seven-year-old. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like that. That's like an excuse. Like, oh, my kid loved it. I'm going to buy it. Yeah, we all know what's up there. Great job. Thank you so much. Dan showing off. What am I showing off? <laughs> I'm, not show I'm showing off the statue. Uh, I know Jill is just my favorite of all time. I'm just excited. I can't wait for mine to come in. Oh, we're talking about Jill here, I guess. All right, I, uh, Earl is talking about Jill. Uh, yeah, it, it really is movie perfect. Yeah, this thing is dead on. So um, how many people out there have seen the movie so far? Uh, I'm curious what you think. Tell us what you think in the comments. And um, I would like to just quickly show you guys um, something. Uh, can we load up the uh, product shots from the website? And let's go over to the, uh, the shot that has the mystery silhouettes, if that's cool. And I'm just going to look at the same one here that up let me see if I can find it there we go there we go there we go so uh, guys as you can see there are two more coming in the series no idea what those could be hmm what do you think Brian over there at Central Command they're confusing right no idea no idea <laughs> so there are gonna be two more pieces coming in this series and they're gonna be coming very quickly actually they're, they're coming soon this is not uh, something that's gonna be months and months um, they're gonna be kind of banging out one after another and uh, yeah, so I'm curious, would you guys, you know, what would be the next piece? Would you guys like to see the uh, Batman cowl, the new Michael Keaton Batman cowl? Hmm, that might be interesting. And then of course, and then we have on the uh, right hand side there, we've got another mystery cowl coming up. God knows what that could possibly be. Um, but yeah, that's coming up soon. I'm curious how many guys have seen the movie. What'd you guys think of the movie? Um, not yet, no. Uh, some of us at the office have seen it. I have not seen it yet, but that's because I'm a very busy person. I don't have time for leisure. <laughs> I see Keaton was awesome. Yeah, I really want to see Keaton. That's for sure. Hopefully this weekend. Well, I hope you guys like it. Um, Keaton is my Batman. Yeah, Keaton is my Batman too. Melissa, uh, actually for a second I thought maybe Melissa said the same thing. Melissa, I'm sure is uh, Michael Keaton Batman all the way as well. Yeah, Michael Keaton is definitely, he's definitely my Batman. Good stuff. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the movie when you go check it out. 
Keaton 100% was right. Uh, let me go back to, let me go back to, I lost my product page now. Great, I just broke my product page. There we go, all right, cool. So yeah, so we got a couple more coming up. Uh, I'm really excited about that. But for now, we're focusing on this bad boy. So there's 150 exclusives and I believe it's 1,350 regulars. Um, yeah, 1,350. And uh, this is only available, bear in mind, in New York, uh, New York, <laughs> North America. Yeah, you can only buy this in New York, guys. Sorry. Uh, available in North America, Europe, um, where else? Let's see. So European Union, UK, North America, Middle East, and Africa. So uh, not available directly uh, in China or in Australia or New Zealand. So if you're in Australia or New Zealand right now and you're watching this, I'm sorry. Um, but you can buy it from one of our distributors. Um, and for some reason, the name is not. Ryan's going to come banging on the door here any second now and be like, this is who it's from. Uh, because right now, I just I can't call it to mind because there's so much going on. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see what else is going on. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention about this mask. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. The, the It looks like it's really hard to, to put together. Like you could tell this was really complicated. The production team spent a lot of time working on the multi-layer construction. And I know it was a huge hassle because they, we were supposed to get this prototype months and months and months ago. And they kept saying, we're working on it. We broke this. We're working on it. This isn't working. I know this caused a ton of frustration. So once we got it, and when we when we got it, you know, in my head, I'm kind of like, okay, what's all the complication? You know, how hard could it be? You know, I've seen the Batman cowl. It's a single thing. It comes out of the pole. It looks great. And then when I saw it, I was like, okay, well, that that really kind of explains things because it really is uh, super complicated. Let me show you guys the base here too. Let me pull this off. Oh yeah, let me shut it off first here. There we go. So there you go. And that's the base. So you can see you got a pretty simple base. And it's got the same texturing that's in the cowl, you get it on the base. I mean, I'm hoping we can see it in the close-up. Is that close-up or no? That close-up's not working. All right, hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me try not to break the $25,000 prototype or whatever this thing costs. There we go. There you go. That's the base. So you can see the base has the similar texturing that you will find in the clear sections of the mask. And you can actually see, I don't know if you can tell, that's the, let's see, where's the back? I can't even tell. Well, here's the back of it here. So it's really hard to see. I mean, maybe you guys can see it because this is zoomed in, but it's hard to see where the on button is on this thing. And to tell you the truth, when I first received this and I opened it to make sure nothing was damaged, I have to say I spent way too much time that I should have to find the on button. And it's actually right, right there. So that's the base. And I'm going to show you guys the cowl and hopefully I don't drop anything, but this gives you a sense of how big it is. You know, I got some big hands and you can see this thing is this big. It's not small. So there you go. And you can see what I mean by the texturing. Like you can see how like there's, see all this section here, all this texturing, that's not paint. That's actually molded in, but it's underneath the glossy translucent section. And then here, this part here, this is on the outside. So this is tactile. You can actually feel that texturing. Uh, just a, a really, really cool helmet. And then it's just a simple pin connection into the base, which I'm trying to do from an angle that I can't see. So I'm just gonna flounder around embarrassingly in front of everyone on camera. Come on, prototype, you can get, <laughs> I can't see anything. It's actually really hard because I've got bright lights just pounding me here in front. There we go, all right, we got them, all right. Whew. My arms are starting to burn. Wait, there it is. All right, cool. Woo, all right, so uh, New York only, yeah, no, 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 no. Icon Collectibles, there you go, guys. So if you are located in Australia or New Zealand and you're interested in picking this up, uh, you can go and check out Icon Collectibles. They are the uh, registered exclusive distributor for our products down there. Okay, oh, yes. Excellent point. Melissa's pointing out in the chat that uh, we are giving one of these away. Of course, as always, we do uh, giveaways of all of our product launches. Uh, and Brian, if you want to pull up the uh, giveaway page, well, let's take a look because not only are we giving this away, but we have a lot of giveaways that are about to finish. So uh, let's pull that up real quick. <clears throat> so the first one, okay, so obviously the, the flash cowl is the one that's brand new out there. But the Witcher, okay, so uh, The Witcher is finishing tomorrow. So if you take a look 
Uh, and you can see, look at all the giveaways we have going on right now. It's like insane. So The Witcher is done tomorrow. What does it say? 20 hours? Is that what that says? Yeah. All right. So you got 20 hours left, guys, to register into The Witcher statue. And this is for the quarter scale. This is for the beast, the big one. So we're giving that away. And uh, you, so you got 20 hours left to do your activation and then all the little bonus things that you can do to get extra entries, right? Because you can get like 100 entries if you do all the little different steps. Uh, Dan's struggling to put the cowl on the stand. Meanwhile, Melissa is at home laughing in her PJs with a glass of wine. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? Melissa did the sacrifice play. She did come in today to get everything ready to make sure all the socials were set up. So she's here suffering at her desk, actually. Um, yeah, so she's, she's still, she's pulling hard. And she wanted to be here. She was so upset that she couldn't be on here. Like, we've become such a dynamic duo. We work so well together. Like, it's just, in life and at work, we're both just awesome together. And it sucks that she's not here. And I feel kind of lost. Lunch with Dan is okay. Because lunch with Dan, I just sort of sit here and shoot the breeze every Wednesday at lunch. Of course, I do a live stream and we just talk about whatever and whatever. But when I'm doing this, like, you know, I need somebody to feed off of here. So, uh, yeah, so Geralt. Geralt giveaway for The Witcher is tomorrow. Then Batman is the next one. So Batman, the Batman cowl is over in eight days. Okay, so you got eight days to participate on that one and uh, do all the activations and get as many as you can. Okay, 555 points on Geralt. What does that mean? What? You have 555 entries? Mentor, is that what you're saying? Hey Dan, when will there be more information about the Basim statue? I don't know what Basim statue you're talking about. I do not know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, you have 555 entries. <laughs> you really want to win that thing. Wow, okay. Uh, so do I hope you got the same thing on Batman. You should have 555 entries. So Batman is over in eight days. And then the next one that's over really, really soon uh, is Lady D. Lady D is uh, finishing up in 39 days, okay? So you get a little over a month to register for Lady D. And of course, Lady D is shipping uh, worldwide, minus Canada and US because the fine folks at uh, Customs have seized our container and we're still waiting for it. But other than that, they are shipping. We did get a second container in, uh, into Canada, US, so a few of them have shipped, but the vast majority are still stuck on the original container, which we will get into, which we'll get into. Okay, so that's it for giveaways. And of course, there's like another dozen there. So make sure you participate on those as well. Um, let's talk oh, another thing that we're giving away, by the way. Uh, we have Comic-Con coming up. So July 14th, 15th, and 16th, we will be at the Palais des Congrès for Montreal Comic-Con. And we are giving away tickets for you and a friend to come and join us. Now, guys, don't be, I talked about this yesterday. If you win, don't be like whoever won those tickets in the UK and London. You didn't even come and visit us. You're supposed to come and work at our booth for a minimum of eight hours, let alone just show up. So if you win, wouldn't mind getting a little visit. So guys, that uh, giveaway is starting tomorrow. It's, so I guess wrote it's in the rules. That's right, it's part of the rules. You have to help us. Um, so yeah, so guys, uh, keep an eye out for that. If you happen to be in Montreal or you live near Montreal and you wanna come and attend, uh, you can win your tickets, okay? But please, of course, en only enter if you can, you're planning on coming. So, you know, if you're from New York or Toronto or something like that, it's doable, right? It's only a six, seven hour ride. So uh, come on out and come and see us. Uh, let's see what's going. Have you guys decided if the next Animus statue is at Comic-Con or Gamescom? Excellent question. I swear we will talk about this soon. Like, I'm gonna write here, wait. Talk about next AC. There we go. Okay, done. <laughs> so uh, let's see, bit far away. Yeah, yeah, from Europe, it's a bit far away, but don't worry, we got other ones coming out, so don't worry about that. So Montreal Comic Con giveaway is coming out. Good luck to anybody who participates in that. I hope, I don't know if anybody that's in the chat right now is gonna be there, uh, but if you are, please make sure you come and check out our booth. You're crazy not to, because we do have the best booth at Montreal Comic Con. Uh, like that's a given, so make sure you come and visit us, come and say hi. And what's cool about Montreal Comic Con is because it's in our local city, a ton of the staff are going to be there. Right, Brian? Right, staff? Everyone's going to be there. We're going to have like 15 people from Pure Arts are going to be hanging out there. 20 people from Pure Arts are going to be there. So uh, come and say hi. We will all be partying out there. 
Uh, let's see, what else? All right, so we talked about that. Uh, let's see, July 4th. July 4th is coming up. So July 1st is Canada Day, July 4th, uh, American Independence Day. So we're gonna have a big sale all around that July 4th uh, weekend. So keep an eye out for that. This will be, uh, there'll be some bonuses for everyone, but it's particularly attractive for North America for uh, Canada, US, because it will be free shipping on everything and anything, pre-orders, stuff in stock, whatever, free shipping for Canada and the US, plus there's some extra goodies as well, okay? So we won't talk about that. You're just gonna have to come and show up, all right? So come check that out. That's gonna be uh, the July 4th special. Uh, so come and uh, have a look. Now, let's talk about shows, okay? I know you're, somebody was asking about battles as a token American, I'm sorry, I'm just reading comments. Uh, you go to Emerald, uh, Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle next year, I will help you at your booth. <laughs> All right, we're actually talking to them. Um, we also uh, have been in touch with uh, the folks behind uh, the Paris Games show. Uh, so we're, I think it's Paris Games Week, I think it's called. Anyway, we're not gonna do it this year, but I think we're gonna do it next year. So probably instead of London Comic Con, we're gonna do that show instead. It's very expensive, that show. What's going on over there in Paris, man? Those baguettes be expensive. That is a very expensive show. So uh, we'll see, but obviously we have a huge, huge fan base in, uh, in Paris and France, so it'd be probably really cool to go check that out. Anyway, for this year, so we have Montreal Comic Con coming up. And if I make any mistakes, Agnes and Melissa will correct me like that in the chat. So we have Montreal Comic Con coming up. Uh, and of course, that will be uh, 14th, 15th, 16th of uh, July. I don't have April in my head. That was weird. And then I, we, okay, so we're not going to be at San Diego Comic Con. We did discuss um, that we did try to get into San Diego Comic Con, but apparently there's like a wait list. It's some kind of an exclusive club that's red roped off from us. Uh, and we, we weren't on the wait list in time or something happened. So we're not gonna be at San Diego Comic-Con. However, I will be at Montreal, I will be at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm, I'm, we're doing a mystery project. We're doing a little mystery thing. Uh, we can't talk about it. It's, it's not pure arts, but there's gonna be a couple of pure arts people out there. Um, it'll make more sense, I promise you, the week of San Diego Comic-Con, but I will be there. So if you're at San Diego Comic-Con, um, I'll tell you where I am and you can come and uh, visit and come and say hi, okay? And there'll be some really cool stuff there. So we'll be there for that. Uh, then, once San Diego Comic-Con is over, which is of course the following week, it's the weekend after uh, Montreal Comic-Con. After that, we take a little break and then we move on to Gamescom. So we have uh, Gamescom in Cologne, Germany. That's where everyone, that's, that's the big, that's the big doozy. That's where everybody comes out. Uh, that one's a monster. Our booth this year is twice the size. It's literally twice the size. Last year was 20 square meters. This one will be 40 square meters. Uh, I wanted 90, but Gamescom didn't want to give it to me for free. So boo on them. <laughs> so looking very forward to that one. So that is August, I want to say like August 24th? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I think it's 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, something like that. Maybe I'm totally screwed up. I'll let Agnes post that one. But we will be doing Gamescom. Um, so that is end of August. Then after that, uh, we have New York Comic Con. New York Comic Con is in October. Then we're going to have uh, LA Comic Con, which is in December. But just before that, we have LA Designer Con. That's also happening. There we go. Gamescom, August 23rd. Oh, I was so close. I said 24th, 27th. I was so close. That was such a good guess. Uh, so 23rd to the 27th. So yeah, so that was that one. Then we have New York Comic Con is in October. I can show the product video with the reddish ring at the end if you want, Dan. <laughs> What's going on? The guy in front of me is literally on chat right now. Um, let's see. So New York Comic Con is in October. Uh, then we have LA Comic Con. And there's also, I think it's, is it Singapore Comic Con? We're not gonna be there, but we're gonna have people representing us at the show. Uh, maybe one of us will show up. Probably not me though, because I cannot deal with that kind of flight. I just, yeah. We need to invent like some kind of transporters like Star Trek where you just like that and you're there. That would be so cool. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the shipping, that's the, the show schedule. So now let's talk about when is the next Animus gonna come out? So the next Animus, will likely be, this is still in flux, to be totally honest with you, okay? We're gonna be very transparent, but likely, the most likely will be uh, launched the week before Gamescom, 
and then we'll have it at Gamescom for you to check out. In fact, guaranteed, like Echo, uh, that we just had at London Comic Con, literally we'll, we will carry it with us in a suitcase. So that's probably what's gonna happen there. Although that's a really big suitcase. This is good. Yeah, that would be a huge suitcase. Anyway, we'll see, we'll make it happen, okay? So the week before Gamescom, probably the Thursday before Gamescom, uh, the week prior, we will have uh, the next, I'm trying really hard not to say it by accident. So the next Animus statue will be out. Uh, and of course you guys saw the uh, sneaky, sneaky little, uh, little, little sneak peek at what it could be. We did post, uh, oh, there we go, it's up on the screen. So our next Assassin's Creed Animus. Now, some of you guys are slow learners. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't wanna be mean or anything, but some of y'all are slow learners. Like, haven't you guys figured out that I lie? Yeah, right, you figured out, you figured this out. So everyone's assuming that this image is like has something to do with the next Animus piece, like as in like it's directly related to Assassin's Creed Mirage. I, I don't know why you said that. There's nothing here that says this is this has anything to do with Assassin's Creed Mirage. This could be a complete red herring for all you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna be mean, but I'm gonna be mean. So yeah, who says that, you know, so don't, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I know who it is, it's this. Don't get cocky, don't get cocky. You don't know, maybe I'm just messing with everyone again. So uh, yeah, so we did, we did post the uh, the next piece and uh, it may or may not be direct, directly related to uh, what's going on. But you're saying you're lying could be a lie. This is right. I could be lying about lying about lying. You never know. To, I've been truthful. I always told you guys when I give you a hint and I say the letter E is in the name, of the next product, I've never lied. I've never lied because you know it's like, you know, Assassin's Creed has an E in it. There's two E's in it, as a matter of fact. So I'm not lying. <laughs> mm. Okay, so that's the deal there. Uh, why are you zooming in? <laughs> I don't know why you're zooming in. <laughs> Stop zooming in on my lies. <laughs> All right, so what could it be? Is that, Sh is that Shrek? What is that? <laughs> you guys kill me. Anyway, so that's the story with the next Animus piece. Um, and as discussed, I did already say what they weren't going to be. And I'm not gonna repeat it, okay? Yesterday in my live stream, I was the last time I'm saying it, I, I, I eliminated two possibilities. So you guys already know it's not the twins because we already talked about the twins a million times that we're working on it, but it wouldn't be the next release. And I also eliminated a possibility yesterday. Now, if you missed that, nah, sucks to be you. Go on Twitch where you should be right now and uh, go check out my Lunch with Dan episode yesterday and all will be revealed. All right, so that's the deal there. Um, did someone mention Nemesis? No, okay, I will, I guess. All right, well, let's talk about Nemesis, but what do you guys say? Do you wanna do a trivia question first? I feel like doing a trivia. You guys wanna do some trivia? I got a couple of trivia questions here that I wrote down. Actually, I wrote them down just so I wouldn't forget, but honestly, I already knew all this by heart. Like I didn't look it up on like, on like Wikipedia or anything. <laughs> All right, let's try and do, let's do a trivia. I'll give everybody a chance to open their Google browsers because probably, there's somebody in our office, okay? I don't know if anybody here has interacted with Julius in our uh, customer service team. Julius knows a lot about The Flash, a scary amount about The Flash. And I did threaten him by saying I would bring him on here on the live stream and he immediately cowered under his desk. It was a little embarrassing. So we're not gonna, we won't bring him out here. Okay, Julius, you're good, Julius. But uh, yeah, he knew all this stuff by heart, legit. And he's like, oh, as I was writing, he's like, oh yeah, it's this, that, blah, blah, blah. So he was pretty good. So let's give away, I wanna start off with a $150 gift card, uh, $100 gift code uh, for the site. Uh, that you can use on any item you want uh, worth 500 bucks or more, okay? Uh, and you'll be able to use that literally on anything. The next time you go to pre-order something, you could use it whatever you want. You could use it today if you want for the Flash, okay? Uh, all right, here we go. Let's get ready. This ring is kind of pinching me right now. Okay, let's start off with, okay. I, this is, I've got a two-part question, two-parter, okay? Uh, so, the Flash, I want to know when the Flash was introduced. So in what year did the Flash first appear? And what was his original name? Because it was not Barry Allen. What was his original name? First person uh, to provide me those two answers, you get 150 bucks. Maybe I might even do separate ones. Like if one guesses one and somebody else guesses the other, maybe we'll do that. All right, so there we go. Okay, so oh, look at, all right, Panda's answered one of them. Let's see, does somebody give me the second one? 
Okay, holy jeez, here we go. I need the whole name. I need the whole name. I need the whole name. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, hold on a second. So, uh, Panda gets the date, correct? It is January 1940. And uh, wait, Dan, how much was this gift card for? 150. All right, so we're gonna do Panda, you got the date right. And Hero from the Future, you got, you got the name right. It's Jay Garrick, congratulations. I'm just checking to see if anybody did somebody write Bal Bartholomew Henry Barry? What's going on over there? Mentor is just making stuff up. <laughs> All right, so congratulations, Panda. Uh, you win one, and Hero for the Future, you also win one. And I feel like both of you guys have already won tons of stuff as it is, so congratulations again on hauling <laughs> a bunch of stuff. Um, okay, so other good news uh, I want to talk about. Look at this thing. This thing is... Sorry, I'm just like freaking out. The, the construction on this thing is so crazy. When you see it in person, guys, it's like, it's just beautifully done. And I love the color red, so of course I'm like, yeah. It looks on film. Oh, it looks so cool on film too. Yeah, no, it's looking really good. Yeah, this thing's looking good. It's like so shiny and everything. Are the lenses actually removable? No, they're not removable. All right, just check it. So yeah, I don't want to break. I don't want to press too hard and start breaking anything. Uh, so some exciting news, guys. Uh, yesterday, um, if you guys watched lunch, lunch with Dan, you might have had a little chuckle with me yesterday. So literally two seconds, I'm about to click the go live button. The doorbell rings at my house and it's the UPS man, the gentle UPS man. And he brought me a first production sample of Animus Connor. So I received it. It's, a, it's like, it's, you know, it's actually a, a sample of what everybody else will get. It's a production piece in the production packaging, the retail packaging and everything. And holy buckets guys this thing is massive it is the size of it's probably the biggest uh animus box yet it's bigger than uh etzio for sure maybe the overall like cubic inch size is the same as uh as ivor but it's gigantic and it weighed like over 40 pounds it was 17.8 kilos the box like it's massive it is the size of many potatoes that's correct <laughs> that's right many potatoes for scale it's, it's absolutely huge um, and I was so pumped to get this thing I actually hauled it in front of the live stream and showed it off so the good news here is when I receive a production sample that means it's really really close to being shipped out to everybody it's about to be shipped on the container so that means we've got some goodies coming up so I went over we, the, the shipping schedule on the site needs a major update so we're gonna be working on that maybe maybe Agnes is gonna work on it while I'm tight while I'm yakking away here but we've got several pieces that are about to be loaded on the container, uh, probably within the next uh, few weeks, next two weeks, okay? So first one's Connor. So Connor exclusive edition uh, and regular edition. Those are all being loaded up in the next couple of weeks and will be uh, shipping via container. The other one that I'm sure you guys are gonna be super excited about is the Rest in Peace Altair. Rip Altair, also ready to go, uh, fully packed, done, ready to go, and of course, uh, the 250 are sold out, those are gone. Uh, the regular edition Rip Altair. So we've kind of, uh, there was so many orders from distributors, it was a little crazy. So we actually went through it all. There are going to be some additional Rip Altair regulars available. Exclusive edition, forget it guys, I'm sorry, those are, those are totally sold out. But the regular editions, there will be some available to you. Excuse me, so yeah, here we go. We're looking at the sheet right now. So Rip Altair, we're gonna put those back on the site live. There's probably, I wanna say of the regular edition, like maybe 50 left that are not allocated. So you'll be able to grab those, okay? So Rip Altair, let me, let me check out, I just wanna see. Yeah, it was quick, it was quick. Well, it's less complex, right? It's not like a giant one quarter scale statue either. So it's a little easier. Uh, let's see what's going on. I made a Twitch just for pure art streams. So you're twitching our Twitch. I like it. It's just a Twitch fest. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, next, the uh, the Mouth of Sauron. So if you guys have the Mouth of Sauron uh, on back order, uh, on pre-order, sorry, that is also available, right? Because Witch King and Sauron have all shipped or are in the process of shipping. Uh, so Mouth of Sauron is next. And that one is super cool. I love just how unique that piece is because nobody's ever done it before. So that one's ready to go as well. So all of these will sh be shipping at around the same time. And what, the one that's really surprising, and maybe not many of you have ordered this because this is a, you know, I get it, this is a pretty niche item, the Penguin. The Penguin is gonna be ready to ship in like a month. They're already ready to go, it's pretty crazy. So really, really excited to get those out there. Um, so Connor, Rip, uh, Penguin is coming up. 
a mouth. But so Connor Rip and the Mouth of Sauron, all available. Uh, we'll start shipping in the containers in two weeks, and then it takes about 45 days from there, assuming Customs doesn't seize the container. And of course, guys, we have had a problem. We had two containers coming to Canada. One made it through, but the one that shipped before, Customs has had it now for about three weeks. And uh, it's been tough. They just keep asking for more documentation. We send it over. They're like, okay, well, that's not enough. We need more of this and that. And it's been just a migraine. So now the Chinese logistical team is dealing with the last item, uh, for those of you that are collecting the Master Nine Eyes uh, toy platform stuff, so of course that's the collaboration we did, did with uh, Daytoner. Uh, last decon, we launched the Savage Edition. So there was the Savage and there was the Savage Show exclusive. So uh, both of those are also ready to go. We'll be on that same container and on the way. All right, so there you go there. We're loading up on the screen. So that's, uh, that's the M90 Savage. And this was the white one, which I believe was the show exclusive. And then there was the black one, which was the, uh, the non-exclusive, the, the regular edition. But both are like super limited. I think there was only maybe a hundred of them made, something like that. So uh, those will be also shipping out very, very soon. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's see, is there any questions on that? Batman cow. Batman's already shipped. Yeah. So let's talk about what's coming. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's, let's uh, just point this out. Let's talk about what is uh, incoming. What's currently on containers. So right now, this the following items are either shipping. I don't actually have this written down. It's just it just causes so much stress. I almost know it all by heart. So Batman, Batman is on the way. Catwoman, Catwoman is just about on the way, if not already on the way, in the containers. Okay, so those are going to be shipping extremely soon. So all of those have been shipped and are on the way. So that's actually a third container technically for North America. All those are on the way. Um, we've got uh, what else is going on right now? So Sauron, Witch King. T-1000s, those are all pretty much all done except for the ones that are stuck in containers, uh, stuck in that one container uh, at Customs here in Canada. And that affects, of course, uh, North America and South America. Uh, Lady D, same thing. Lady D is now shipping everywhere, minus that one container that has the bulk of the Lady D orders. Like I'm pretty sure all of the exclusive editions of Lady D are all trapped on that container. And there was, cause there was only, was it only a hundred of them? Like more than half of those pre-orders are here in Canada and the US and yeah, they're all stuck on that container as well. So uh, yeah, so T1000s, Lady D, uh, all things uh, Lord of the Rings. So that's what's going on there. So yeah, so Batman, so Batman should be received and start shipping in July for sure. All the, the, the Batwoman and Catwoman, that'll be in July. Uh, I have a question I think that is for uh, Melissa. Oh, Melissa or Agnes. Uh, but I saw Cassandra is marked as in stock for North America. I was wondering, sometimes you guys have small discounts for in stock items. Uh, so would the discount work for Cassandra? So no, we're not running. Um, okay, so we don't run sales on exclusive editions. So whenever there's, uh, whenever there's gonna be exclusive, uh, whenever we do like a site-wide sale, like where most in stock stuff is up for sale, the exclusive editions will generally not be, especially exclusive edition animus statues, things like that, they are not included in the sale. However, uh, with that said, when we do a special promo like free shipping, that's on everything. That's on everything, pre-orders, whatever's in stock. But like if there's like a, I don't know, a 20% discount on all things in stock, that will exclude pre-order items, it'll exclude anything that just arrived in the warehouse, and that'll generally um, exclude most uh, exclusive editions, if that makes sense. That's why it's always a good idea when we run a sale, click on the sale link, it'll take you to the sale page, and below the description about the sale will be all of the items that qualify uh, for that particular sale. Well, same thing when we do, we do once a year, we do a BOGO sale. So it's buy one, get one for X amount off. So we just did one for Father's Day. Uh, that was buy one, get the second one 30% off. You can use a pre-order item as your first item, right? That's your full price item. And then after that, it would need to be a qualifying item to get that 30% off, if that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Uh, Counselor Dracula, I hope, that, I hope that helped. All right, I would like to do one more uh, trivia question. Let's do another trivia question. Let's see, which one are we gonna do? I'm gonna do, hmm, what do we wanna do? Uh, Agnes, can we add, or no, actually even Melissa can answer this. Can we manually add additional entries to someone's Gleam contest profile? Like if we wanna give somebody an extra 150 entries for free, can we do that? Yes, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here's what we're gonna do. Everyone by now, you've already entered this contest, right? You've already entered the contest for the Flash, I'm assuming? 
because you're all awesome. And then some Nemesis news. Yes, we will discuss the Nemesis news. Okay, so why don't we do this? Let's do a, a trivia question. And whoever gets this trivia question right gets an additional 150 free bonus entries into the contest. So if you win that this piece, you literally got it because of this moment right here. <laughs> so there's the link to sign up. You have about five seconds to do it before I do the next trivia question. So let me take a look. Here. We're gonna do. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. So uh, the Flash, while while the Flash has been around for a very long time, right, started in, in 1940, it didn't make it onto television until way later, right? Um, what year did the Flash debut on television? That's my that's the question. Give me the year the Flash debuted on television. And you'll win 150 additional entries. And Agnes is wrong. Oh, you guys are making a mess. There we go. Oh, we got a winner. Kings, Kings, King Saki. I'm destroying your name. I'm sorry. But King, uh, you're correct. It is 1990. So there you go. So King, um, you're going to provide your info to Agnes and she'll go ahead and add your bonus 150 entries. And good luck to you and everybody else that's on the, uh, that's on the contest. Okay, so next up, Nemesis. You know, ah, this Nemesis bust is becoming my arch nemesis. No, it's not true. So I, I guess I just kind of forgot the fact that Nemesis is like 10 feet tall or whatever he is. Guys, you do understand how big this bust is going to be, right? <laughs> like, I don't want, I don't want anyone complaining why this thing didn't cost the same as like the liquor bust. This thing is like, it's gonna be three times the size of the liquor bust. I hope everyone understands that is committing to saying, I want the Nemesis bust. I really hope you all understand what you're getting yourselves into because this thing, this thing is gonna be gigantic. So the Nemesis bust is still under development. It's still a go ahead. Uh, it is still too early to talk about when it's gonna come out. That's for sure. Uh, I would say if this is not like this would be at the earliest the very end of the year at the earliest but this is probably more likely to be something in 2024 like maybe early 2024 but we uh, in fact we're we just talked about it right now because right now we're discussing um, versions right because there's different versions and obviously everyone wants the OG bust uh, and that's what I've been pushing for but there's always things around you know what we can and can't do uh, how many are we gonna make um, and there's little licensing things that we need to finish up like uh, which where are we gonna sell it because most of the Capcom stuff actually pretty much everything we have for Capcom we can't sell in Asia we can't sell in China uh, so or in Japan so it's, it's restricted so we're kind of working on that to see uh, where we want to go but while that's being worked on all the boring stuff the uh, 3d artists are definitely working on uh, some nemesis stuff so on development on track but like you know this we talked about this like how long does it take for a product to be to be to be developed before it becomes a pre-order and i mean it's at the very least a year like that is the quickest michael jackson we talked about this smooth criminal took like six or seven years um probably the average is more like two years so if you think about this we only started talking about this what like summer mid-summer late summer last year so we're getting up to like the one year point but like i think this is going to be more of a two-year project and we got to bear in mind, this thing is gigantic, gigantic. Okay. So, but it's, it's happening. Um, yes. Okay. So dark down, we talked about this. Uh, yeah, this is a great question. So dark down says, does your Ubisoft license cover all the games made by Ubisoft or only a couple? Great question. And I know where you're going with this question. So, uh, I'm sure most of you know now that, uh, Ubisoft is developing a really cool star Wars game. So they got a star Wars game. Uh, they have Avatar, they have an Avatar game, but unfortunately, Star Wars, Avatar, and all those, they are not their IPs. They've been given permission to work with those IPs in their games, but that does not allow them by proxy to allow for merchandising, okay? It's just like a totally separate thing. So unfortunately, it means that we are not allowed to produce Star Wars stuff for the, for Ubisoft, Avatar stuff for Ubisoft, it doesn't work that way. We need the Disney license to do it, which we don't have. So, no, we cannot do Star Wars. 
sucks because I was and we were talking about this at lunch with Dan two weeks ago I was so excited when they launched the Star Wars I'm like yes we're gonna do Star Wars no we're not doing Star Wars so uh, any Ubisoft title that is their IP yes we have access to uh, but uh, unfortunately uh, Prince of Persia I don't think is a Ubisoft um, I don't think that's a Ubisoft IP is it I'm not sure I'm not sure I have, to, I have to see because Prince of Persia right that's who owns that because I don't think that's their IP who's the original IP on that I don't know because I think at the movies yeah I'm not sure off the top of my head I'm not sure well then technically we should have access to it if it's Ubisoft so yeah I mean is there that much interest in a, in a Prince of Persia to be seen uh, and by the way super important there is a thread currently happening right now um, and I've seen people recommending this there's a thread going on on the Pure Arts Collectors group, okay? So if you're not a member, Melissa is very disappointed in you. Uh, but there is a uh, big conversation going on right now of people requesting different titles, different figures, different licenses, and they're posting photos and reference photos. Those are the threads that get, those get traction on our side. Those are oftentimes what we'll pull from, take screenshots and send it over to the powers that be and say, hey, look, this is the next license we have. So if there's Prince of Persia, uh, interest go and post it on there and if you got a bunch of people that are like yeah yeah I also want this we'll screenshot it and send it over for development so yeah um, but I don't know how much interest there is in Prince of Persia like when I think of Prince of Persia I think of like super old school Commodore 64 uh, Atari Prince of Persia so I don't know how big it is now anyway Prince of Persia after Sands of Time changed to AC1 oh, alright well anyway that's the deal there. So join the collectors group, okay? Make your comments on there. And uh, that way we uh, will see what kind of suggestions. And again, I'm sure I've said this a billion times, that is exactly how we took on the Resident Evil Nemesis bust was exactly because of that. It was feedback that you guys provided. So there you go. Would love Diablo. Yeah, wouldn't we all? But there's a lot of people doing Diablo. Diablo would be super cool though. It's not gonna lie. I really like, there's, a, there's people, if you guys are interested in Bioshock, a lot of people are talking about Bioshock um, I am partial to that one. I would love a Big Daddy Bioshock for sure. So uh, if you guys want to suggest that, head on over to the group and say, yeah, me too, I would love that. And just put whichever one you want. Also, speaking of some older games, Dark Souls. Do we have any Dark Souls fans right now in the chat? Let me, let me see you guys light it up. Do you guys have uh, Pontiff Sullivan? Do you guys, oh, by the way, Pontiff Sullivan also is shipping. The, uh, all the new Pontiff Sullivan statues, the new and improved ones, all in the containers right now on the way as well. So do we have anybody here that uh, wanted to get Yorm or has Yorm or maybe you only have the small Yorm or you have a Pontiff or you just love Dark Souls? Anybody in here? Just curious because we actually have coming up, we're gonna send in, uh, we're not gonna be publishing this everywhere. It's gonna be very restricted, okay? So we're gonna post this in the collectors group and we're gonna send an email to our client base and that's pretty much it. So here's what's happened. We had an allocation of uh, large Yorm. So the Dark Souls Yorm statue, that big one that came out like three years ago. We had a small amount that were allocated for a distributor. And that allocation amount has been in China sitting at the warehouse for, I'm not joking you, like since we produced them, since they did the second production of them, they've been sitting out there. So probably for like two and a half years, two years. And it was a really good client and the client just didn't pay. So we've been waiting and said, oh no, we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it. They never ended up taking them. So that allocation became available and literally about a month ago, they said, guys, forget it. They've been sitting here forever, you can sell them. So we now have a very limited amount of the huge Yorm statues that came out like three years ago are now available. They're not on the website, okay? So keep an eye out on the email and in the group very soon we're going to post a direct like a vip waitlist link you will click it and and purchase it from there and what's really cool about this this i love this part and i think you guys would like this too is that the retail price of the statue is the same that it was three years ago so there's absolutely no increase on price and i i can't remember let me see if i can let me look up the old price real quick and uh i think you're gonna brian you're gonna look it up too right all right punch that up real quick uh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls. There he is. All right, where's Big Yorm? There he is. So this is the 112 scale Yorm. So it was $750, $749. I think you would all agree that in today's time, for a statue that is like this big and this, because it is gigantic, that this thing comes in a box, 
You can put a dishwasher in. It's huge. It's a massive, massive thing. There's one actually right outside the door, but it would, it's too heavy to just drag in here. Unless Nico's watching and he tries to do it. For $750, this is a really, really good deal. And it lights up, right? All his arms light up, his face lights up, and the base around all the people that are holding up the platform, there's LEDs all in that. I mean, that is an insane price for this piece. And I'm, I'm sure that this is sold on eBay on the secondary market for way more. So if uh, any of you out there are interested in getting your hands on a big Yorm, this will be it. You'll get it brand new. It'll take a while to get it because let's say you order it from North America, we need to bring it in from uh, the Chinese warehouse because like I said, they're sitting there in our own inventory at the at the factory. So literally need to put them on a container, bring them here and then they ship to you. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to want to pick one of these up, if you want a Yorm, you can get one. You can reach out to, to Agnes directly right, like right now if you want and uh, she'll hook you up with the URL. Otherwise, we'll have it in an email. So uh, should we post the link here? You know what? Yeah, do it. Sure, post the link here. Let's do it. Yeah, sounds good. Do it. Okay, so we're gonna post the link uh, in the chat. This is literally the first time we post it. Uh, if you guys want, you know, sh if you wanna share it with your friends, that's fine. But uh, let's see, awesome. Their statue and they found a couple in their warehouse. They have it on their site for resale prices. Okay, cool. Yeah, it, it does happen. We, we, it's happened to us before. Um, there's going to be some rip all tears that are, have become available that that were allocated um, that have now become available. Uh, it happened with the Joker mask, although that didn't. The Joker mask just like the where the warehouse just contacted us like, hey, we found some. We found like 50 Joker masks just laying around. You guys want them? We're like, what? Uh, so yeah, so it does happen every once in a while. There you go. There's the URL right there. And up on the screen, you can actually see the difference. I don't know if that's pulled down right now, but the, we were showing it the difference between the uh, quarter scale. Uh, sorry, the 112 scale versus the 116 scale. So the one that we're talking about that's gonna be available, it is the bigger one, okay? It's, it's massive, it's absolutely massive. So there you go, there's the link down there. Yeah, this is a big, big statue. That's really cool. I don't know if somebody wants to open the door right here and just bring me the throne, like the throne section. Don't bring me the whole base or just the sword. Just to give you an idea, like the sword on it's gotta be about that big. I mean, this, this thing is huge. So I don't know, if somebody wants to open the door and hand me something, go for it. <laughs> uh, shipping is set to free. Don't want the, uh-oh, is it set to free? Oh, Agnes, check those tags, Agnes. So this is why you guys are guinea pigs. <laughs> We're beta testing this on you. Um, you know why it could also be is that this statue was offered so long ago that there's new shipping zone set up that it wasn't even like part of that. Um, yeah. Well, okay, let's double check the shipping and see what's going on. I will bill for my services. I have $2 off just for Ragdoll. <laughs> We're looking for Big Yorm right now. There's one out there. Isn't there one just sitting like right outside the door? Uh, or where did it, oh, maybe it's gone now. It used to be just on the glass display case that was right out here. Somebody moved Big Yorm. No, it's on somebody's desk. It's on. It's sitting on somebody's desk, isn't it? Right next to. Uh, I don't know, everyone's like we're scrambling to find it. It's sitting on someone's desk. Yeah, it's it's sitting on someone's desk. So they're they're looking for. It. I can hear them scrambling outside trying to find it. So I'll show you guys that, and then we'll move on. Um, and then we'll fix the shipping. Thanks for letting us know. I'm, 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 I can hear them probably waiting for them to open the door. Um, someone is greedy. Had to. Take Yorm for themselves. Yeah, somebody just grabbed it and ran out with it. Well, to tell you the truth, the Yorm that's here, this thing, this poor guy has been sitting out here for a while. If it's the one I'm thinking of, it's been like sitting in the sun for a while. You don't want to steal that one because he's a little sunbaked. But uh, all right, well, listen, we'll wait. We'll see. Somebody's going to pop open the door. So guys, any questions? Uh, did I not, did I, uh, side note, if you're not following Dan on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? Yes, exactly. Make sure you follow me. Uh, Collectibles Insider, that's me. Um, yeah. I've started doing some some of my own little goodies in the meantime. I, okay, so here's what happened. Full disclosure, if you guys care to have a story time. Uh, I recently went to a grand opening of one of our uh, distributors, uh, Collector Zone. And uh, so I went there, and it's the first time in a long time that I got close to a Predator collectible. Like, you know, because you guys know I love Predators. And uh, there was the Big Game Hunter cover from P1 sitting there. And I was like, oh God, that is so cool. Collectibles have come so far from when I stopped collecting. Like this kind of makes me want to get one. So I reached out to the company and they had one and they could get it to me for a good price. 
shipped to my place. I was like, okay, fine. So I got that and then it kind of made me want to start doing some YouTube stuff again. So anyway, yeah, so there you go. So pretty soon I will unbox my first Predator collectible in forever. So keep an eye on my uh, Instagram and I'll, and I'll post it, all right. Oh, the door's opening. Here it comes. What do we got there? Oh, we should just, you I can't bring the rest, but it's, it's inside the box. Oh, it's in the box? But well, what's the one that's sitting on somebody's desk? Uh, there's one over there, but it's a small, small one. Oh, it's a small one? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, thank you, that's perfect, that'll do. Guys, look at the sword. I don't, Brian, if you want to reload the uh, the image of Yorm, but this gives you an idea. Look how gigantic this sword is, all right? Like, I'll stand it next to the statue. Look at this thing, look at that. That's how big, it's absolutely gigantic. And this is a sword that's in front of Yorm, is this gigantic blade. There we go. Okay, there. See that blade that's sitting? This is the blade that sits in front of me that I'm holding. Yeah, look at the size of that. Okay, so this thing is humongous. <laughs> it's really, really, really big. So, yeah, just to give you an idea. So, yeah, go and check this out, okay, guys? All right. So, there you go. That's that's Big Yorm. So, again, uh, you can click on the link, but we do need to fix the uh, shipping thing. But, yeah, this thing is... That's massive. All right, there you go. I'm going to slash the budget. All right. Okay, so uh, going back to social media real quick, we also are very, very close to a new milestone. Super close. Uh, we promised that Twitch, if we hit 500 followers on Twitch, we would do a giveaway. We are so close. In fact, this morning we were at 480. Have we hit 500 yet? Where are we at? Melissa, what is the roll call on our Twitch followers right now? She's probably posted it and I just wasn't seeing it. Um, 482. Guys, please make sure you follow us on Twitch, okay? And when we hit 500, we're gonna do a giveaway. So I told everyone in Lunch with Dan yesterday that I expect to hit 500 by the next Lunch with Dan. So if we hit it, we're gonna do a uh, awesome giveaway. But we're gonna do something really cool, okay? Not something cheesy, we're gonna do something really cool. So please make sure you follow us on Twitch, okay? Make, get your friends to join up too. They can quit after, let's just hit 500, okay? Don't tell Melissa I said that. Uh, and of course, guys, as always, make sure you follow all of our other channels because we're always releasing news and fun stuff and make sure you join on the newsletter. And then, I, again, a great example is the Yorm uh, thing here. If I didn't talk about it here in the chat, the very first people to find out about it will be on the collector's group and on the newsletter. So that's why those two things are so important. You gotta be on the, on the group. Can I wear the flash mask? No, so the flash mask, again, is a poly resin. So it is not flexible. So it's not like the Batman cowl, which is not for the record. You could technically cut it down the back like they did in the movie and put it on. Uh, but this is not. This is definitely not wearable because it's solid poly resin. But I mean, if you want to put it next to my face. There we go. I'm trying to see on camera. There you go. There. Wait, where's the camera? There it is. Look at the camera. Look at the smile on the camera. There you go. That's how it is next to my head. So I mean, it's it's definitely life size. I got a big melon. I definitely got a big melon. So there you go. Does that work? So that's it. That's the flash. God, I don't want to drop it. I'm just like, please don't drop it, Dan. Urgh. All right, here we go. Let's put it back in. I think I'll be a little bit better at putting. There we go. Look at that. Under control. There you go. So yeah, it's a it's a good size. Definitely a good size uh, mask. Do you guys have any other questions? What time is it? What? Oh, we've already, okay, we're, I'm done my hour, guys. Ah, it's time for me to go. <laughs> Do you guys have any other questions about any other releases or products? Uh, please let me know in the questions here in the next couple seconds. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna go check and see if we've got any exclusive editions left. Yeah, oh, does it look like, like, does it look ginormous? Oh, it looks like it's huge, right? Because the angle, I get it. Yeah, well, because it's on the desk and I'm behind the desk, but yeah, it's just like, if I just, <laughs> uh, Elden Ring product. There is not an update on the Elden Ring product yet. I'm sorry. Um, depending on what you heard last, right? The last update was there's actually two products in development for Elden Ring. One of them was a long term project that was just insanely more complex that's going to take a couple of years to develop. The second item was supposed to be ready like last December. Turns out both of them are being long-term projects. So I still don't have any word on what's happening with the Elden Ring project. I, we do want to get this as quick as we can, but it's just taking a super long time. It's, it's a question with the finishing and the paint uh, between us and uh, the licensor. So we'll, we'll get that figured out. 
But there's still stuff coming up for Elden Ring. I know you guys want more info. I just, I don't have it yet. Same thing for The Witcher. Uh, we talked about the Geralt statue, the one quarter scale and, uh, and the one, the one six. I mentioned that there's a special little something, something that we're working on. I was a little too premature on that one, even though I was told it was just about ready and we were gonna get the prototype. Never got it. Uh, and that's also still in flux, but I promise you guys, as soon as I know, I will talk about it, I promise. Um, let's see. Yes, I did take a selfie with uh, the cowl. Yes, there's some on Instagram, exactly. Go check out the socials, guys, it's all there. Uh, Yorm shipping should be good now. Okay, so if you wanna try and order Yorm now, you should be in good shape. Uh, let's see what else. VIP status, my friends. Literally, you guys are the only ones, those of you that are here on this chat, you are the only ones that have access to this right now. So nobody else knows this, unless you guys are out there spamming it to, to your friends and letting them in on it. All right. So guys, I mean, if there's nothing else, and uh, of course, again, just to show it off one more time, there's the ring. We're gonna do a little close up on that. There is the flash ring I've been wearing this entire time. That is a plastic one. Um, one thing that I was wondering is how they plan on making it like, so other people can uh, wear it. And I believe the plan is this will be, uh, this will be jointed. Uh, sorry, I don't know if it's going to do a joint, but they're going to be like, they got to come up with a way that you can expand the ring. And what it is, is like the, the more open it is, the tighter it gets. So I think you can just wear it and it'll be expandable depending on how big your ring. So if you have a, wait, sorry, there we go. If you have a much bigger finger, you, you can open it so that it, it's bigger. And then if you're smaller, you fit like that. I mean, I don't think they're going to fit size four fingers. Sorry, Melissa, but it'll be a good average. See, so I can wear it on this finger. I can wear it on my middle finger. So I don't want to, there you go. So you can wear it on, you know, it's, it's it definitely sizes for different fingers. Anyway, but this is just a plastic one. I got to be careful. Sorry. Sorry, Melissa. Uh, would love a clap trap. Clap trap has been formally proposed to the uh, production team, actually. So yeah. Thanks to Ryan, one of our teammates here. Ryan suggested that one. I would love a clap trap too. I agree. Yeah, Borderlands, we've definitely been discussing Borderlands. Okay, guys, well, listen, that's about it. So thanks again. Turn this thing on for a final spin around the block. Very cool. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining me today. Um, thank you so much for chatting with us and having a good time and joining us for some fun. Uh, don't forget, as always, guys, every Wednesday, uh, uh, you can find me live on Lunch with Dan every Wednesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna see you guys very soon with a new product launch, probably in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're gonna have some, uh, the, we're gonna have the next piece, the next mystery piece that was in that silhouette photo that I showed you guys. And of course, as always, follow our social media, check us out on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, join the Facebook group. Make sure that you got our newsletter, that way you're gonna get all the latest, greatest stuff. Guys, thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure, pleasure as always to uh, chat with you guys and uh, discuss all things pure arts. And I'll, I'll see you guys on the group and I'll see you on socials and I'll see you guys next week, okay? Thanks, everybody. Have an excellent rest of the day and have a good upcoming weekend. It's a long weekend for us. Yes. Take care, guys. Bye.